Hi, my name's Chris Noble. I'm an independent IT specialist and my website is www.doglikehorse.com. I'm here to talk to you about how identity theft is accomplished. There are many ways criminals can steal your identity, but electronically by far the most common is what's called a phishing attack. And these are emails generally that criminals will send to you and they send out thousands, hundreds of thousands to people that they believe are users of that particular service. Now these emails will try and launch you or lure you to uh, their fake sites. And on these fake sites they'll make it look exactly like the real site and they'll hope that you'll put in your username and password and then the other security questions that that website will ask you. Now at that point the website will probably give you an error message, a 404 page not found error once they have your details, which will, you'll think the website is down, but what they will do is will then go on to log into your site, take over your account and use it for criminal activity. So ways to avoid clicking on phishing links or phishing emails and how to spot them. If you're ever unsure about an email that's been sent to you, assume it's fake or fraudulent. If you're unsure whether your bank has sent you this email, maybe just log on to your bank site directly without clicking on the link to the email and see whether what the, the question they've asked is genuine. Often they'll say that it's urgent that you contact them for security reasons. Just go directly to your bank site without using that email and see if you have the same message. Most companies will never ask you for your passwords or usernames in emails. And if they supply a link within the email, when you click on that link and you open it in a web browser, make sure that the URL in the web browser is the URL you're used to seeing. For example, if it's the egg credit card, it should be new.egg.com. If the URL that you see is something like 123.123.123.4, it's probably a fake server and a phishing server. Don't click on it. So if you're unsure, just go directly to the website itself and delete the emails. My name is Chris Noble. Thanks for watching this video on how identity theft is accomplished.